you you brought up a good point. Let's let's talk about the rookies really quickly here. Um, I've got both of their averages in front of me. So right now, Franz Wagner, second on the team in scoring, 13.9 points per game. He's shooting 49% from the floor, 43% from the three-point line, while adding 3.6 rebounds, 1.9 assists, averaging just one turnover, one steal, and 0.6 blocks per game. Then Jalen Suggs, on the other hand, uh, you know, I think this is a good place to start. Uh, 12.7 points per game, promising, uh, but on 12.9 field goal attempts a game, he's shooting 30% from the floor, shooting 25% from three, yeah. uh, 4.1 free throw attempts per game. He's shooting 86% from the three point line, or excuse me, from the free throw line, uh, 2.7 rebounds, uh, defensive rebounds, 3.6 rebounds total, four assists, 3.3 turnovers. Like you mentioned, that's really the area that he needs to work on. Uh, 1.1 steals per game, uh, which is leading the team right now. Uh, really, Franz, Jalen, only guys averaging um, you know a steal or more per game, so that's good to see. With Jalen, Luke, what was more concerning for me was that he was getting to the rim and just wasn't really finishing yeah. at a high level. And we saw this out of Cole last year, and especially after the trade deadline, Cole like got much better as a finisher at the rim, obviously with more opportunities. I feel like we're seeing that out of Jalen. He had a couple of really nice finishes. The 86% from the free throw line and the shooting form is why I'm not concerned about him as a shooter. He's a guy that seems like has legitimate range. I don't want to say it's like Trey Young right. or like Dame or like Steph Curry, but it's like somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Like he's definitely got some decent range beyond, beyond just right behind the line. So, um, but we're seeing like defensively, he's looked great like against some really good guys, like, you know, guarding Fred Van Vliet, like, you know, obviously doing his best friend, Fred Van Vliet, one of the better guards in the league. Um, you know, but we've seen him on like Evan Fournier he played really good against him in that second uh, Knicks game. And he just has a knack for the ball at like getting deflections and just being a pest. You can tell that he's really annoying, um, you know, to play against. Uh, and then the passes, man, like he makes like one or two, like very special passes, advanced level passes each game. And it's going to take time. Obviously, we've had to be very patient with him. But I am so confident that when it clicks for him, it, it's just going to be night and day. And we're going to see a totally different player. We're going to see the player that we envisioned when we drafted him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think, I mean, man, you you look at the the team right now and kind of the, the way that, you know, Cole shooting the ball, Franz is shooting the ball, Mo like, these guys right now are, are are shooting the crap out of the ball, quite frankly, and um, and they're doing it at a high clip. I mean, Cole shooting, you know, six point four a game. Franz, four point six a game. I mean, if Franz can shoot thirty nine percent, right now he's shooting forty three point eight. If he can shoot thirty nine percent, even from just four attempts a game, not four point six where he's at right now. I I won't be mad at that at all, but but yeah, I mean, as far as Jalen Suggs goes, it's um he he's able to contribute in a lot of ways, but it I, it really is kind of his decision making, and in some instances that does frustrate me a little bit. Um, I've talked to you guys about it before, but like um you know, in the pick and roll, it just seems like he doesn't know what his next move is, what's gonna come come next. He's not. It, it just seems like him reading the pick and roll isn't incredible, but then he'll have some times where he's the pick and roll ball handler and look great. So it really is just kind of a balance. He's trying to figure it out. Um, it's a frustrating process. We knew that this year would be frustrating in a lot of ways, but still be fun. I mean, you've got these guys, like I said, shooting at that high of a clip um, for, you know, Franz and, and Cole and Mo and seeing, and, and seeing Mo Wagner get kind of those, like last night, him and Franz going back and forth trading three. Like, it is a lot of fun. This team is a lot of fun. They've They're got, frustrating. They're incredibly fun. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what you're going to get out of a team that's you know one and six to this point. But um, but yeah, I, I, Suggs is going to be a. I think Suggs. People are frustrated because people thought Suggs was NBA ready, and to an extent. He he is, but also he's got a lot to work through. Um, Franz is just more NBA ready at this point. Franz has been the best rookie. Franz is going to make his way into rookie of the year conversations and then not be laughed at um, in terms of maybe like saying like 
the statement of Franz. I've seen it thrown around by non-Magic fans. Franz is, you know, you could consider Franz Wagner um, even a top three right now rookie in the league. And it is. And and, and that should be very encouraging for Magic fans. They're like, while we're waiting on the development of Jalen Suggs, Franz is kind of the immediate gift that we get and uh, get to see him play every night, too. And it's just like there's never a time on the court except for, you know, Mosley's guys that he threw out there at the end of the third the other night um, that aren't just kind of a there's at least not at least one or two guys that are just like a joy to watch because you you don't know what's going to happen and you're just like enthralled and enthused when something happens you know that they produce something yeah with Franz like you know we were defending him throughout preseason and you know summer league that he was in the right spots a lot of times and it seemed like you know he knew what he was doing defensively and you know was making some good cuts but I have to say, I've been so pleasantly surprised with just how quickly yeah. Franz's offensive game has come around. Like, obviously, the 43% from three-point line, like, that's huge. If he's able to sustain that, he's going to be an elite shooter in the league. But the things that he's able to do, like just his passing vision, the plays that he makes, the things that he's able to do off the dribble and has the confidence already to do off of the dribble has been really encouraging. Yeah, We talked about like pre-draft when we were breaking down all the rookies that Franz like a lot of times was the primary ball handler and pick and roll and we we're like eh you know what he's probably not going to do that at the league like in the league Luke I'm kind of second guessing that like some people were like two games in they're like oh my god this is Hito Turkoglu I'm like okay he's not Hito Turkoglu like you know <laughs> he's got a little bit of that to him but we're never going to see him as like a point forward I'm not totally convinced now that that's the case like we've seen him do some things off the dribble, especially against bigs or, you know, if he gets, uh, like the other night he had a uh, LaMelo ball switched onto him. He just gave him a couple of bumps to the chest, went right past him and was at the rim for a bucket. Yeah. So Franz has been really the big surprise for me. He's just been so great. 